And this is Kurnan with Gold Thumb, and today we will be talking about how to create a tic tac toe game in Python using Pygame, SYS, and Random. So let's dive in. So let's just look at the end result real quick. This is the end result we're trying to achieve. So this is the end result that we're trying to achieve. We can see that we have a three by three grid. We can see that when we place an X and the computer places an O, we can, we're gonna talk about the distance, the color and everything. Then um, we have the U in screen. We have the U lose screen. And then we have the U lose screen. And X and you see that it keeps doing that. And X and if it's draw, it will say it's a draw. So then also we'll also be talking about how to make the play again button and all of that will be taught. We're only going to be talking about until we're going to basically talk about all this code until the function bot moves. So let us dive in. So first we import Pygame, the, the basically the game's interface, SYS, some some commands and modules that are accessed by the Python interpreter, random, the the computers move it will to calculate it, we would have to do other steps and this will might cover in the future so initialize pygame pygame dot init which basically start initializes all the modules in pygame the constants within height we increase the height to make room for the button so that's why you can see there is some place here because after we finish the game there's need some place for the button and then we have the the line width, which is 15, the width of this line over here. Then we have the square size, the square size, basically the size of each square. Then we have the circle radius. So when play, the circle radius of the circle, how much distance the circle width, the cross width, the space between the space between um the circle and the edges or the cross and the edges the color red the color y using rgb <clears throat> using rgb y is 255 y is all 255s line color is 000 black and next then circle color is this type of cream color cross is a type of gray and the button color is 00 255 which is blue and the button hover color it basically becomes a lighter blue. So now we have all the constants put aside, let's go into the actual game. Screen, basically we create an instance of a screen with the dimensions width and height. Then we set the caption of the screen to tic-tac-toe. Then the board, so how this works, we basically create, so basically we create, a, we create this through saying that for every in board.columns we're creating three, so that means we have one, two, three, one, two, three on top. We have these here. The, those are the underscores that we were that we were talking about earlier. And then same, then we draw the lines. We fill the screen with white. Then the horizontal lines, basically we use zero square size, which is zero square size, width square size and line width. So we do zero square size, so zero and then the square size. Width square size, we go here. And next, then, then we draw the line straight through the width. Then we go to um, the second line. And instead of doing all new calculations, what we do is since we draw this line, we just go double the distance from the top and we draw this line again. Same thing for the vertical lines. Same thing, we draw the line here, do double to the right, and we have our lines. So now we have the basic interface ready. So now we have to actually make the the thing draws circles and crosses. So for row in range of board rows and for column in range of column, if the board row and column is a zero. So that means if there is a zero inputted, that means we draw on the screen with the circle color with using these calculations, basically to define the distance and where to draw it, the circle radius and the circle width. Same thing if it's the X, if it's the cross, you do the same thing. We're drawing two separate lines. So one for the, that line and one for that line goes like that. Then to check if win for row and board, if all of the, if all of the, if all of the, 
marks on there are in the same row check for columns and then checks for the cross we do this by checking to see if it's for all in the row and then we return true and check for the board if it's all in the column so if all row column equals player for row in board then we do board i and i that's the that's the cross sorry that's the diagonal and then if all board i board dot board underscore rows minus one minus i was player for i in range board rows we're talking about we're talking about straight up then we return true 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 for all that and yeah so this is for the row this is for the column this is for both diagonals the diagonal going this way bottom left to top right this is going from top left to bottom right then if there's none of these cases are true then you return false then you check the draw basically you do this by checking for each row and board for each cell and row if the cell is empty you return false so that that means you can't draw in a cell that already has um a marker in it i cannot draw in a cell within with the o that and i cannot draw an x on that then we return true if none of this is if the loop does if the loop terminates then we have available moves so moves basically this for row in range of board rows for column in range of columns so basically we're checking if every square we're checking every square if it's empty then we have the list of the available moves then the bot move we basically return we basically choose a random move from the moves list so you can see that and we can still lose because sometimes the random still works if we just play random. So, yeah. Well, it's not hard to win. And it's a draw. So, yeah, that's going to happen sometimes. And so, but it still makes the game kind of fun because it's random. You cannot anticipate moves. And then, yeah. So this is all we're going to cover today. We're going to do this in part two. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check and subscribe. This is Connie with Gautam and I'll see you next time.